Hi, this is your Sabdul Bharti and we are here at Cube Conan Cloud Radio Conan Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we have with us Ross O'Neill, Senior Manager of Learning at Anila. Ross, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Of course, we have covered Andela before, but just for the sake of our audience, remind them what is Andela all about. Andela is a private uh, marketplace uh, for tech talent. Um, we uh, have over 150,000 technologists across 135 uh, countries. So if you are a engineering manager or a CTO and you're looking to ramp up developers, software engineers, um, across multiple stacks in different countries, um, Andela is a, a perfect vendor for you to find a borderless force uh, for the right skill uh, for, the, for your role. Can you also talk about the specific market that you are looking at? I, if I'm not wrong, it's mostly African continent. Is that correct? It is. So out of the 150,000 I mentioned, around 60% of our marketplace is based in Africa. Um, so our main markets would be like Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, Ghana, um, but we're, as I mentioned, over 135 countries as well. And this is also kind of untapped market in one way or other. We do talk about North America a lot, Europe a lot, Asia a lot. So, I mean, it's, it's great to see that work being done there. But I am also aware that you folks are also doing some work with CNCF to expand the reach of Kubernetes to some of those. So talk about that work that you're doing with CNCF. Yeah, we're, so that's why we're here today. We're super excited to announce a partnership with CNCF. Um, so part of our, Andela was founded around 10 years ago, um, founded in Nigeria, but part of our legacy over the last 10 years has been running learning programs and upskilling initiatives to um, basically skill African talent. And this is kind of going to build on that legacy. So we're going to uh, run a learning program uh, for around 20,000 to 30,000 African developers uh, across different Kubernetes certifications, primarily in KCNA and CKAD. Um, and so we're, we're super excited for our, our community um, of Andelans to uh, be part of the CNCF and Kubernetes community as well. Can you go a bit in detail uh, that, you know, when it comes to talent pool or skill, because here we talk a lot about the skill gap is still shorted, though a lot of layoffs is happening, which also means there are a lot of talent is being released. But if you look at the African continents, you know, uh, what kind of uh, skill set that you folks are seeing and how Andela is kind of becoming a catalyst to create those skill sets? Yeah, it's a good question. So we're kind of seeing a tale of two job markets. Um, yes, there has been layoffs, but we've seen strong demand, particularly in cloud native technologies. As an example, for companies that come to Andela and create a role on our Andela Talent Cloud to basically find the right talent, no matter where it is, 90% of those roles would actually require Kubernetes as a skill. So for us, this is a strategic investment by CNCF, by Andela, but it's a win-win uh, for the talent as well, because we're providing a path to success and meeting that skills shortage. Yeah. And can you also talk a bit about what is the actual collaboration between CNCF and Andela look like? You know, is it more like exposing the talent to the market, or is it also about bringing Kubernetes skill sets to those folks? Ah, great question. I think it's both. Um, so we're, we're really excited to bring these learning programs. They're, com they're going to be completely free for the, for the engineers and talent to join, um, to get upskilled and to take those certifications. But on the flip side, they're going to be joining the com this community as well. We're going to have peer-to-peer -peer, uh, mentoring. They're going to be joining uh, meetups and online you know, hackathons and cube days and um, things that they may have not had access before. So yeah, we're, we're very excited for it. What kind of growth of market you're seeing will happen after this collaboration? Uh, good question. Well, we would hope that the growth that we are seeing um, uh, in these roles, that we're going to meet that demand overall. Um, and in terms of, um, particularly in cloud native technologies, um, what we would like to see is that we'll continue this collaboration and go across different certifications in different domains as well after, so that we can continuously provide professional development and upskilling to, to those talent. Also, if you look at the whole CNC of landscape or Kubernetes you know, uh, ecosystem, new technologies, new paradigms keep emerging. How do you also plan to keep them updated with that? It's a great question as well. So as I mentioned, we've been 
We've been running learning programs and initiatives since the founding around 10 years now. We're celebrating 10 years this year. And we've ran learning programs every single year. And so even though we're announcing this one, we're already looking ahead of the next two to three years after. So this is a first um, program with CNCF, but we envision there will be more and it'll be based on you know, industry trends, what customers are telling us, what talent want to upskill in as well. Um, so, we can, so we can meet and, not, and, and decrease the skill shortage, uh, particularly as you meant, the paradigm is always changing and we want to make sure that we're, we're meeting it. And can you talk about uh what are some of the barriers you know that you see is language a variance uh, thing on it because you know you are even if you're building talent pool there it's catering to the western audience if i'm not wrong yeah so yeah no so in terms of uh, talent that join um, our engineers and developers that join andela we actually go through an assessment process so we do like technical interviews um, uh, technical assessments and we do english proficiency as well um, but one of the reasons behind that, we also do professional skills, soft skills, in order to you know, uh, empower uh, our, our technologists of today so that they're meeting, uh, that they can be the best software engineer that can be tomorrow. And what kind of companies should look at Andela? Because I know the talent shortage is a big problem, you know, and they do want to tap into whatever talent pool is available. Some of these skill sets are hard to find. Yeah. Yeah, so these, I would say one of the reasons they're hard to find is that traditionally speaking, a lot of organizations, a lot of, if you're an engineer, as I mentioned, if you're an engineering manager or a CTO, you're, you might be accessing through the traditional recruitment process. You're, the reason you're finding constraint is that you're accessing talent within the same talent pool. If you come to Andela, you're accessing uh, talent pools that you didn't previously have. You, all of a sudden, it's completely borderless. You're accessing talent anywhere and everywhere. And we've already gone through an assessment process with them. So you can ramp up and down very quickly. We've had as quick as 48 hours with, with teams of engineers, um, with clients uh, all over the world. You know, So if you are an organization and you're trying to find uh, software developers, uh, senior engineers, um, I would say Andela is a good solution because it's based on the right, uh, the right talent, not the right person just happens to be nearby. And what is your message for those in African continent where they want to build a career in this space, how they should look at Andela? How they should look at Andela? Well, we're absolutely join our Andela learning community. Uh, we have this large community of Andelans all across the world, but as I mentioned, primarily in Africa. Um, and also, uh, we'll be launching this program at the beginning of the year, uh, next year in 2025. And um, so we're, we're really looking, so we, we would watch this space and, um, and apply, yeah. Ross, once again, thank you so much for joining me today and talk about this collaboration between CNCF and Nadella, which is so, going to solve a lot of problems for a lot of folks. Thanks for those great insights. And as usual, I would love to have you folks back on the show. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. We'll be super excited to give you an update on our future KubeCons. Uh, thank you very much.